Welcome to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold. And in this show, we're going to highlight opportunities and solutions to help get you out of the rough and into success, both personally and professionally. In these tough economic times, I want to provide you practical solutions to many of today's challenges. And today I've got Kurt Reisig. Kurt Reisig is a good friend of mine. He's also the CEO and founder of American Pacific Mortgage Corporation uh, with over 900 employees. And the great thing about Kurt is his organization provides funding for over two, uh, about $2 billion, over $2 billion to help people, uh, to help provide the American dream for those buying a home. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Fred. It's good to be here. Well, I want to talk about being an entrepreneur because you are uh, the epitome of an entrepreneur. Started many companies, grown many companies. You have over 900 employees in, in this particular company. I know you have other companies that you own that are, that are smaller. But let's talk about some, the three attributes, the th three things that are important when an entrepreneur is either growing their business or starting a business. Well, thank you, Fred. It's, uh, you know, the, the, the most important thing I think that entrepreneurs, uh, there's two or three things I think they really need to focus on if they're going to start a business. And, and the first thing is uh, their business model and really having a true understanding of the business model that they want to launch. You know, what is that business? And, and is it really a business that that individual wants to be a part of? You know what I mean? Do they want to be in that business? They give you an example. If you're going to go out and start a sandwich shop um, because it looks attractive economically, do you really want to spend your day making sandwiches, right? Right. And, and so th that's one of the things. The other thing is, is does the business model match up with what your economic expectations are. So we all have goals and dreams of what we want to do, what we want to accomplish economically. And when we look at a business, a particular business we might start, does that business provide the potential to reach those, those goals? It's yeah, so if your there. goals are to make $100,000 a month in year two, does that, does that model sustain that? Are there others in that industry that it's reasonable if you work hard to, to attain those? Yeah, month two, year two, month three, what, whatever that might be. Can mm -hmm. the business actually take you where you want to go? And is it realistic? So it, it's really about uh, doing our homework and finding out if the businesses that we're looking at truly have the potential to take us where we want to go. And, and do you want to do it? And do you want to do it? Boy, so many people, they get enamored with the idea of, of having the business without necessarily peeling back the onion, if you will, and, and saying, seeing what is it I'm going to do with myself every day. You know, but, when you say that, and it's, sorry to interrupt you, but it comes to mind that if you want to be a sandwich shop owner, or whatever it is, own a... Uh, own a uh, franchise of some type, and you're unemployed, maybe go volunteer or go work for someone outside your market area to see if you even like the model. Yeah. Um, what a great opportunity to see if you even like doing that, whatever that, that thing is. Well, and that's a great point, Fred, because it, it brings up one of my other points that, that entrepreneurs really should consider when they're launching a business. And that is to, to have not just that experience, but have a relationship with someone who could be a mentor, who can be a, a role model for them. And there's no better way to do that than to work in the business. And, and so finding a, a business owner or someone who's taken that path before and watching them for a while, especially finding someone who's successful at it. You don't want a role model against someone who is not doing well. Find somebody who's doing really well in the business that you want to pursue and align yourself with them, even if you're doing it for free, like you said. Hang out with them for long enough to get a sense for what is it they're, they're doing that makes them successful. And the, the other level of that is, is if we have then the opportunity to, to go back to them in the future once we've launched our business and, and ask them for their help, ask them for their guidance. It's an incredible resource that, that uh, anybody starting a business should seek to have. Yeah, I really believe that. More. Kurt Rising, Kurt Rising is the CEO and founder of American Pacific Mortgage Corporation. And we're talking about you know, if you want to start a company or build your company and really being a great entrepreneur. Uh, I do want to mention one thing about role models, and that is successful people want you to be successful, don't they? Yeah, they sure do. You know, that, sure that's that's what they how they can give back when they are successful. Yeah, what you find is the best mentor, the best role model is someone who would look at your success 
as, as success to them, that yeah. they would celebrate you're, you're doing well. Yeah. And help, that's, that's what we're really looking for. Yeah. Help, a, help enough people achieve their dreams and goals in life, and you will. And the, the third item was adequate, adequate capital. Yeah, Fred, and, and that's so important for business owners, for an entrepreneur when they're starting their business, is to make sure that they've got enough gas in the tank to get them you know, where their destination is. You know, plus. So, again, ex plus some. Right, because right. it's not just about the business; it's about the contingencies that come up. It's about paying our personal bills until we get there. So many folks, there's, there's a cost to starting that business, uh, but oftentimes people don't anticipate that there's also a cost of of building it. And for example, not having the income in those first few months while you're building a customer base or developing the clientele, whatever that business might be. So giving ourselves an adequate time period to build that business and begin to generate cash flow is really important. One of the biggest reasons that many businesses fail mm -hmm. is insufficient capital. Mm -hmm. And that, that can be solved with planning, just making sure that when we start the business, what it takes to start it, what it takes to cash flow it for its initial ramp up period, and every business is different, what it takes. And then lastly, paying our own bills. Because right. the, the biggest shame of any uh, you know, entrepreneur, the shame of the situation is to run out of money. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you run out of money even if business is going good. And that's the last thing we want to see happen. Yeah, it's all about preparation. Great, three great uh, ideas and tips on, on growing a business and uh, good stuff, yeah. Kurt. I'm going to ask you to stick around because uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, attributes of great salespeople and what they share to help, to help build their business and provide a better tomorrow uh, for all their customers. We'll be right back.